Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the transfiguration of the Lord. As we behold Christ's glory, may we also see the greatness that is within us. Because like Jesus, we too are children of the Father. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sins. Let us beg God's forgiveness. And let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to, pray to pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watch, thrones were set up, and the ancient one took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about Him, justice and judgment are the foundation of His throne. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His justice, and all peoples see His glory. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised meats when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of His majesty. For He received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory, This is my Son, my Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it 
as to a lamp shining in a dark place until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to Him. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up a mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the transfiguration of the Lord is one of the moments when God the Father revealed the true identity of Jesus. For a brief but glorious moment, Peter, James, and John saw the deep truth of Jesus. They understood that Jesus was not just a leader a teacher, and a healer. He was not just any human being. He is the Son of God. He is human, but He is also divine. What the prophet Daniel saw in a vision, as we heard in our first reading today, the three apostles saw with their very eyes. That is why Peter could testify, as we heard in our second reading, we ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him 
on the holy mountain. Peter, James, and John experienced the divinity of Jesus. They saw the greatness in Jesus. Hindi lang pala siya pinuno, guro, at tagapagpagaling. Hindi lang ito simpleng tao. Si Jesus ay anak ng Diyos. At si Jesus ay Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, while the transfiguration of Jesus reveals to us something about Jesus, it also reminds us something about ourselves. It reminds us that just as Jesus, that, that just as there is greatness in Jesus, because He is the Son of God, there is also greatness in each one of us. Because we too, by virtue of our baptism, are sons and daughters of God. Kung si Jesus ay dakila dahil siya'y anak ng Diyos, ikaw din may kadakilaan dahil ikaw ay anak ng Diyos. Nang buhusan tayo ng tubig ng binyag, inangkin tayo ng Diyos bilang kanyang mga anak at katulad ni Jesus na anak ng Diyos, meron ding kadakilaan sa bawat isa sa atin. Many times we focus on our limitations, on our weaknesses, on our disabilities, on our failures, mistakes, and sins, that we forget that we carry the image of God within us. There is greatness in each one of us. It is just that many times we demean ourselves. We even humiliate ourselves as though there could be no greatness in us. To demean ourselves is to demean the God who created us. To humiliate ourselves is to humiliate the good God who made us. And to look down upon ourselves is to look down on the love of God who cares for us. My dear brothers and sisters, do not demean yourselves. Huwag nating maliitin ang ating sarili dahil tayo'y mga anak ng dakilang Diyos. We demean ourselves when we think that our happiness could be found only on this world. Kapag ang tingin natin ang kaligayahan matatagpuan lang sa pera, sa kayamanan, sa kapangyarihan, sa kasikatan, minamaliit natin ang ating sarili. You are not meant only for this passing world. God created you for greatness that could be found in heaven. We humiliate ourselves when we believe in misinformation, in lies, in deceptions. Kapag ang ating paniniwala ay hinuhubog ng napakaraming kasinungalingang pinalalaganap sa ating lipunan, minamaliit mo ang iyong kakayahang mag-isip, minamaliit mo ang iyong sarili, hindi ka nilikha para lokohin lamang. Nilikha ka ng Diyos para sa kadakilaan. At ang kadakilaan yan matatagpuan sa karunungan at sa katotohanan. We belittle ourselves when we say that we are not capable of goodness, that we could not change for the better. Kapag sinasabi natin, hindi ko kayang maging mabuti, masama talaga ako, 
hindi ko kayang magbago. Minamaliit mo ang sarili mo. You are not meant to live in sin and evil. God created you for greatness that could be found only in Him. My dear brothers and sisters, just as the voice of the Father was heard referring to Jesus, This is my beloved Son. The Father also tells each and every one of us, You are my beloved son. You are my beloved daughter. There is greatness in you. Do not demean yourselves. God created you for goodness. Let us always strive to live in the greatness destined for us by God. Let us always strive to be great in the eyes of our Father. Please stand. In the transfiguration, the Father revealed the glory of His Son. We do not see His glory now, but as we wait for the kingdom, we pray in His name to the Father. For every petition, let us say, let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. Let your power and glory shine on us, Lord. That the glory of Christ may shine through the church as we faithfully listen to Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your power and glory, and glory shine, shine on, on us, us Lord. Lord. That the beloved Son may lead the nations into the paths of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your power and glory, glory shine on us, Lord. That we may grow in grace, that others may see the light of Jesus in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your power and glory, glory shine, shine on, on us, us Lord. Lord. That people who suffer may see their future in the transfigured Redeemer. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your, Let your power, power and glory, glory shine on, on us, us, Lord. That the dead may be transfigured in the likeness of Christ's glorious body. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your power, power and glory shine, shine on, on us, us Lord. Lord. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, it is wonderful for us to be here. Receive the prayers of this community assembled to hear your word and to offer the sacrifice of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by His radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He revealed His glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which He shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of His disciples, and that He might now show how in the body of the whole Church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with the power of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you with thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim 
by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in the glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.